Hello, my wonderful Virgos. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of those of you that are currently not in communication with your person. So as per usual, I will be starting off with an oracle and we can clarify the existing energies with tarot. Okay, let's see here. <clears throat> Alrighty, guys, so we have reveal. I want to tell you the truth, okay? And then we have unexpected outcome. Things didn't go the way I planned. So is this someone who possibly, you know, made a confession, but, you know, things took a left turn here? Or is it someone who wants to uh, tell you the truth because they feel that something happened very unexpectedly between the both of you? Like maybe they feel the separation was unexpected, but there could be something they want to reveal to you. Or like I said, it could be another scenario where they've revealed something to you, but they did not expect the outcome that came from the uh, revelation. So let's see. I feel like this person definitely was not prepared for a separation or maybe they expected you guys to work something out or overcome an obstacle. Yeah, look at this tower on the bottom of the deck. So definitely unexpected outcome hand in hand. Um, split the deck and we have the six of wands. Well, it's definitely someone who's wanting your attention right now. It's definitely someone who wants you to, you know, speak to them. We have uh, scorpion energy here as well. But the main thing that I'm getting is they may have expected you guys to work something out or they may have expected you guys to like, um, like, you know, if there was like an obstacle leading up to the separation, they did not expect you guys to stop speaking to each other. They kind of just looked at it as, okay, well, it's something else that we disagree on, but we'll overcome it. So your silence could be like a shock to this person. Yeah, five of swords. There could have been a conflict that took place between the both of you, but I, but I see that they're trying to heal from the conflict or they don't want to relive the conflict, if you will. So it's either a conflict that happened between the both of you or it could have been something that you said that they're kind of going back and forth in their mind about. Bottom of the deck here, yeah, eight of swords. They feel very stuck like on like a mental level. Like that's what I'm getting. Like their thoughts are causing them to feel very stuck. Their thoughts are causing them to feel like this could be like limiting beliefs or like restrictions that they're placing upon their self. But I do see them feeling very conflicted about the current, you know, circumstances between the both of you. The Hierophant in reverse. Some of you could be dealing with the Taurus here. Bottom of the deck, the Judgment and the Two of Wands. It's like they are upset that you guys are not in a commitment or you guys, the main thing that I'm getting here, guys, is like they feel that you guys would have been able to overcome an obstacle and they're upset that, it, that that's not the way that things, you know, transpired between the both of you. There, you know, some of you view this person as failing to learn something even uh, like from a conflict that you guys had. So like there could have been something you guys disagreed on, but you feel like, you know, you were telling this person how you felt in hopes that they would learn from it or make the necessary changes so that it wouldn't occur again. But you feel that there's a level of uh, stubborn energy here or there's a level of this person person having a very fixated way on on uh, whether it's like a fixed mentality or just like a particular way that they want things to happen where you wish that they would give you a little room or they would be more open-minded I should say so it's like you're viewing this person as having a hard time releasing control someone who wants to either be in control or they want things to happen in a particular manner but you're looking at it as that's not really realistic you know, a relationship is a two-way street and it can't always be, you know, how you want it or it can't just be your way or the highway. So I do sense like a level of stubborn energy here. Nine of Cups in reverse. Yeah, this person's definitely not happy right now. They're not really emotionally fulfilled with the Nine of Cups in reverse. And they may even feel like there's a void that they feel or something is missing when they're not communicating with you. 
you know you are someone who makes them very very happy but as much as they're upset because they want to remain in control they don't want to show you how vulnerable they feel right now they don't want to show you how this bond is affecting them maybe this could have been an issue for you as well virgo maybe you feel like that's what the conflict or that's the that's essentially like the place that the conflict stemmed from maybe you wish that this person was more direct or more um like open with their emotions but for others of you it could be more of like a mindset thing where like you wish this person would be more open-minded see things from your perspective like some of you feel like you're very open to how they feel or hearing you know their emotions and their perspective but they're not the same way with you like they don't reciprocate that energy yeah, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. What's the bottom of the deck? The Eight of Pentacles in reverse. High Priestess, Ten of... Okay. Yeah, there's... De like, your person's thinking about what they could have done. And, and more than that, they feel like they could have done more. So whether it's they could have done more to stop the separation or they could have done more to just, uh, you know, prevent the uh, conflict as a whole. And then with the High Priestess in reverse, they could be wanting to come clean or, or speak about their emotions to you, speak about what they kept in the dark. It just seems that you are dealing with an individual that has a hard time opening up. And I don't think it's because they don't have emotions for you. I don't think it's because they did not have stability or commitment on their mind. I think that this is just their way of feeling in control. Or this is someone who feels like when they don't know what's going to happen or when things don't work out as planned, they become very negative or their mindset changes. Like the best way for me to explain it is they have a very fixed mindset. Like whether it's like this is how things are supposed to work out or uh, yes, I want to be in a commitment, but I'm not ready yet and we can be in a commitment when I want to. You know, sure, we can all have our preferences, but maybe, you know, that's making you feel misunderstood or that's making you, Virgo, feel like, well, it can't just always be about what you want. Like you wish you felt more understood or heard by this person. Five of Swords. Yeah, definitely, you know, keeping tabs on you, very curious about what you're up to, but they feel conflicted. Even though they're upset or fed up, they still want to know what you're up to. They still want to know how you're feeling or how you view them. Bottom of the deck here, the Fool in Reverse. Yeah, Four of Wands, Strength card, Five of Cups. It's like they're upset that things did not work out between the both of you, but they also don't want you to know that. And that's why I feel like there's a sense of like a power struggle or like someone who wants to like be in control. Like how they want you to portray them is not actually how they're feeling on the inside is what I'm getting at. And like something about the future seems very uncertain. Like maybe for some of you, you wish this person had more faith or hope in this connection. Maybe you wish that they were... Um, like in terms of maybe, you know, even if you guys did feel connected, maybe you wish that they would have, um, they would believe in the connection more so that you guys can move things forward. But it seems that your person was very afraid to take a leap of faith here because something felt like it was not familiar territory. And and I also feel like they're, they're, to an extent, you wish that this person would be more open to change or looking at things from a different perspective. Like, I wonder if there's like an age gap here or it's just like a mindset, right? Because it doesn't always have to be an age gap if you guys think differently, right? If two people think differently from each other, but it could also just be just like a mindset um, uh, difference where like the way that you're thinking about, you know, connections, your love life and what you want moving forward. Maybe you feel like this person had more of like a traditional way of going about it or you just feel like they're, again, you know, they, their, their thought process was much different from yours. Yeah, I do feel like they want to make peace with you with the Six of Swords. It is someone who wants to, you know, move to calmer waters. Because when they think about this situation, guys, they feel very conflicted to the point where they try to stop thinking about it. So there's some, like the fact that you guys are not speaking is really bothering them. And they do feel like something that they said or something that they've done, they've done has backfired on them. Right? Because again, unexpected outcome. Things didn't go the way I planned. But maybe on your end, you're like, okay, well, there doesn't always have to be a plan in place when we just feel connected to each other. Maybe you wish this person would like go with the flow or let things kind of flow with ease between the both of you. But you feel like there's like a sense of control that they desire. 
Judgment, Five of Pentacles, and the Hermit. Definitely feeling like an outsider. And it seems that you have gained insight about this person or some sort of clarity on the situation, but you have gained this on your own with the Hermit energy, Virgo. It's not like this person gave you the clarity you were seeking. You had to figure that out on your own. So what is the Nine of Cups in reverse? This person may feel like they finally chose a direction to go in, but they feel like it's too late. Or like, what's the point of me choosing a direction now when I wasn't able to choose the direction then? Like, I do see something is becoming clear to this person, but the blockage I see is like, they don't, they don't want to go back on what they said. That's why I say there is a little bit of a stubborn energy here, or like, it's like, there is something that they're reevaluating. There is something that has changed, but they don't want to go back on what they said to you before because then that would require them to either own up to being wrong or apologize for something. And that may make them feel like they're in a vulnerable space. There's something about this person not feeling comfortable being vulnerable or being all the way open. And it's also someone who likes to be in control of you know, uh, what happens in their life. Like it's not really someone who likes to go with the flow aimlessly or it's not like, I don't know, like I'm getting like an energy of someone wanting something to happen in a particular manner and because it did not, they're upset about it, but they're also upset that you're not speaking to them. Like that's just what I'm getting here. Uh, what's the 10 of pentacles? Yeah, Eight of Cups, unable to walk away from you because we have that uh, coming out in reverse. Then we have the Six of Cups wanting to return to you. That's what I see. Bottom of the deck, the High Priestess, Ten of Cups in reverse, King of Swords. Like, they know that you're upset with them, but they, like, here's what I will say. They want to reveal something to you. They want to, you know, be honest with you, but it's to an extent. Because as much as this person is having a hard time walking away from you or the situation is making them feel restless, it's like... It's either they have like an image to maintain Virgo or they just feel like I can't let you see that side of me or I'm not ready to own up to, like I'm just going to say it how it is. This could be someone who like has difficulty admitting when they're wrong. And things were very unexpected so it could have really threw them off. Like there's some sort of uncertainty that comes with this bond here. Or, or they feel like what caused the uncertainty is the way that things transpired. Like for example, they may have expected you know, like I said earlier, the download that I was receiving was they wanted to, they were expecting to work something out with you, but instead it led to a separation. So this could have kind of really, you know, threw them off or they weren't really sure, you know, what to do because they weren't expecting that to happen. You understand what I'm saying, Virgo? Uh, what is the Page of Swords? Yeah, four of swords in reverse, having a hard time healing, feeling very restless and wanting your attention with the six of wands. Bottom of the deck, the devil, the eight of wands and the fool. They, they really want to tell you what's affecting them or why they feel restricted. Like whether it's they like to be in control because they, um, you know, because of their childhood or maybe they express to you they have abandonment issues or they like to be in the know because they don't like to feel uncertain. Whatever it is, they want to be clear about why they feel restricted or what was causing them to feel like they can't move forward with you. But there's also an energy of like holding back. Like, so some of you could view this person as like operating from a space of like ego or pride. But I will say they are feeling restless. They are upset about, you know, the outcome here. What is the Six of Swords? <clears throat> yeah, strength. That's what I'm that, that that's exactly what I was mainly getting. They are thinking of you, but they're also very determined to hold back. Could be a Leo uh, or a Scorpio. You guys are involved with five pentacles, hermit, six of pentacles, ace of wands. They know that they weren't putting forth enough effort or they have it and like there's an energy of feeling there was a lack of reciprocity. But with the ace of wands in reverse, they're not really sure how to have a new beginning here. Or they may even feel like that's not really realistic at this time. I do feel like they want to confess, though. I do feel like they want to tell you, uh, you know, what was in the way or why they weren't able to commit. Um, but I think that this would be more of an explanation to do with them. Kind of like, okay, well, 
uh, like a generic example, like I wasn't able to, you know, uh, commit or uh, follow through on this bond because of my, um, you know, because of my past relationship or like it, it, it's someone who's justifying the way that they were acting as opposed to just saying, OK, well, I can see how that hurt you and let's see what we could change moving forward. I think that they're very hesitant when it comes to change. That's what I sense, Virgo. And I know that sounds kind of crummy, guys, but I want to tell you the truth. I don't want to lead you in the wrong way. It's someone who is having difficulty changing, creating some sort of change, even though it may feel much needed. What is the Two of Swords? Yeah, Hermit. They may also feel like you're very determined to, you know, keep to yourself here. Um, they may also feel like you've gained some sort of clarity, but you are, uh, you know, keeping it to yourself. They're viewing you as isolated in a period of solitude, more so focusing on yourself. But they do sense that there is disappointment on your end, but they may feel like you're not reacting to it or you're not like there could even be an energy of you matching this person's energy. Maybe you're like, OK, if you don't want to open up and show me how you feel, then I'm not going to do it either. What is the Six of Cups? Three of Pentacles, bottom of the deck here. Yeah, they feel like if they were to come forward or reveal how they feel to you, maybe there would be a chance to work on things or at least come to a mutual agreement, right? With the Three of Pentacles. Um, but Six of Cups, Eight of Cups, like they really do miss you and they want to come back to you. But you have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, which means they feel something doesn't feel uh, stable when it comes to this bond. They also feel like because things did not work out in the past they're almost projecting that onto like that's what's going on in their current energy right now and i will say yes they want to work on things with you but they may have a very particular way that they want things to go because it seems to be someone who wants to be in control here so let's see what they want to communicate to you by the way guys this is the um in the shadows oracle card so they're very raw and uncut so if that's not something you're interested in um, you can definitely skip past this uh, point of the video. Okay. I am not coming back, right? And this is an energy, Virgo, of this person wanting to remain in control. They're having a hard time... Um, going back on what they said even though they're reevaluating what's going on there's more pride and ego and the pride and ego is outweighing you know the ability to come forward or apologize it's like if they were the one who even if they weren't the one who initiated the separation there's something here that they said to you or something that they've done where they feel like they can't come back from it so they do feel powerless but on the outside they're showing it to you in a way of you know i'm upset or i'm, I'm still remaining in control we are more alike than i admit so they could feel like you guys have similar tendencies. This could even be an energy of them, you know, feeling like you guys do have similar tendencies because you're able to match this person's energy. Okay, for others of you, maybe you are dealing with another Virgo like yourself or, or when it's great, it could be awesome. But then when it's bad, maybe it feels, you know, terrible because there could be like a clash of personalities, a clash of, you know, mindsets here. So like even if you have a type A personality, Virgo, and so does this person, it could be hard to um, agree or come together or it's like fighting fire with fire. Anything else? It says, I know you're watching me. So with the hermit energy, they may be aware that you are gaining insight. You are gaining some sort of clarity about them and not necessarily through them. Okay, guys, and bottom of the deck here, it says, yes, it is too late. So they may feel very stuck because they feel like they are, uh, re you know, dealing with the emotions or, or uh, you know, thinking and recognizing and acknowledging things when it's much, much after the separation here. Okay, so my wonderful Virgos, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.